All right, so you've got your video exactly the way that you want it. It's all recorded. You've got any annotations on it that you want. And so now that the video's done, what can you do with it to make it even better? Well, thankfully in Screencastify with the premium account, you have this option called edit. And so you can see up here, if you use the little scissors icon, you click on edit. And once it loads up, there are a couple of things that you can do to your video. And one of them is to cut it. And so if you can imagine your video being this whole big stripe down here at the bottom, basically when you cut it, it's almost like if you want to cut out a little segment of your video, you cut on one end of it, you cut on the other end of it, and you throw that one segment away. So let's pretend that I got to this point right here in my video. I'm going to click on that and hit the cut button. And so now you can see that it's cut. There's a little space in here, but that doesn't mean there's a gap in the recording. That's just the way of showing that it's it's disconnected. And so let's say that the part, the part all the way to this point is stuff that this is all stuff that I don't need. So I'm going to click here and click cut again. And you see now there's this little clip right here. So if this is the part that I don't need, let's say that I'm recording an instructional video and there's some ums and uhs. Or if I realize the video is too long and I need to trim it down, this is a part that I don't need. I just click on this and hit the delete button. And then now that part's done. So that's one part that makes, um, that makes the cut part really, really easy. The other one has to do with cropping. Now cropping is nice if you want to zoom in on or cut out a certain part of your video. So let's say that the most important part of this video was the crowd right here. So I can just click and drag this rectangle and hit done. And now this clip, this part of the video is going to be zoomed in to that point. Now, of course, what I could also do is I could click over here and I could cut it again and then I could zoom out, zoom back out by hitting the crop button and drawing it in the entire, you know, the entire screen. So now it's zoomed back out on this part. And then the third thing that's really nice when it comes to all of this is that you can actually add other videos, kind of like merge different videos together. So we've got this one. Let's say we want to put another one in. We just use the plus button here. And so from there, I can select from my library, I can select another video and look, it's actually added in right over here. So now I have two videos all together as one. So you can layer a bunch of different videos together. Now, what you saw a second ago was me adding a video from my Screencastify library. And you can actually add videos from any place that you've got them in your Google Drive. So if you have a video in your Google Drive anywhere, you're able to add it. You can just go to editor.screencastify.com and that's the place where you can go to add more videos than just the one in your library. But basically this editor is great because it lets you cut and even delete certain parts of your video. You can crop to zoom in or zoom out on certain parts of the video and you can add in new clips too. So this is kind of like your one-stop shop for fixing up that video once it's been recorded. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to share your videos. Once they're totally ready to go and you want to get them out to students or somebody else, this is how you do it.